Alright, what's going on guys? The Air Raid Lord here, and we are going to be reviewing, and when I say we, I've got two guests with me this time. We're going to be reviewing a new series that has just started airing on AMC, Better Call Saul! Yes, yes, Mr. Saul from the Breaking Bad series has now got his official spinoff, and uh, it's going to be an interesting ride. Uh, the first episode aired at a special time on Sunday last night, just after The Walking Dead, um, it's usually going to be aired on Mondays, and in the UK, it airs like on Netflix at some time. So, I have Jack with me, just like I did for the Walking Dead reviews, but we mm -hmm. also we also have someone who, if you've seen videos on my channel before, you're familiar with, P-Dog, or how Back are you? Back from the Dead. Back from the Dead. I don't even remember the last time you did a video on my channel. It's been quite a while. Yeah, it has been quite a while, but yeah, we're using Skype. And I'm using all the crappy programs that I still had on my yeah, computer. Some writer's block flashbacks here where like we got up and record and having like a hundred month problems along the way. Exactly. There's always something, but um, with our college internet, we should be completely fine. We shall prevail. We shall prevail. The, <laughs> the shall hamsters be... are running in the background. <laughs> yes. There should be no problems. Yes, exactly. So let's jump right into it. One question I have. And I don't know, and this is always the problem I have. Is there a name for this episode, like a title? Uh, like it's I... called Uno. Uno, thank you. Uno. Okay. That is the biggest problem when I do the walking... Ironically, was Uno not the last video I was in of yours? Whenever you uh, recorded the Uno gameplay with Matt and Zach? You know, I think that's actually... I don't know how the fuck you remember that. Yes, I think that was. <laughs> what a hilarious moment. Yeah, that is a pretty much... Oh, moment. no, wait. I just uploaded the GTA Five thing where we jumped oh, off the well, cliff. Oh, I don't really that, so... Yeah, yeah, so... Anyway, um... So the episode of this is Uno. Um, and now I'm trying to think of why that is. Was there any yeah, Spanish for one? I believe. Well, yes, I know. <laughs> I know that, but why in the episode? What's the reason for it's calling? It's kind of interesting because it's like both playing on the fact that it's the first episode and also like a fresh start for Saul because the intro was his life after Breaking Bad, like the first five minutes or whatever. Which is pretty interesting that that's what they started it off with, considering the series is before Breaking Bad. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. We got to see... Didn't you say... you And you reminded me of this. There was a reference in Breaking Bad to how Saul wanted to have a Cinnabon like, well, job. Well, he said, he said that he would be lucky if he was going to be a manager of a Cinnabon shop or whatever, and that's where he is, out in Iowa or Omaha, Omaha or something. Nebraska. Like he, called it? It, he called it like his best case scenario would be if he worked in a Cinnabon. Yeah. So yeah. you got to ask, you know, what actually happened to him. It's funny, because when you see Saul, I didn't even know it was him. Like, I didn't recognize him. I and mean, obviously, he had to change his appearance so that, you know, he wasn't yeah. found out. And it was funny, because you saw that, where he saw the thug, and he's like, oh, shit, am I going to yeah, get... the guy was, like, looking right at him, but it turns out he was, like, looking past him to someone else. But he was, like, shitting himself, because he thought he was found out. And I did kind of feel bad when Saul went back to his room, and he was watching his... <laughs> his videos. That's the best thing he could do is watch his shitty commercials that <laughs> everyone used to make fun of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh boy. It's so um, not a good life for him. So then we actually find out a little bit what he originally did. What is his name? Jimmy. Mc... Did they Jimmy say McGill. Jimmy McGill. McGill? And correct me if I'm wrong here. Is his is his last name ironic with the name of the company that he works for? Because McGill is not named after. It's like Hamilton, Hamilton, McGill. But the McGill part's not named after him because it's at one point in the episode when he's talking to what the Chuck. hell, Chuck, he says, "Oh, you know, they might want you to." Ch Chuck says, "Oh, you might have to change your name because it conflicts with the company's name." So that you know, I I, I don't know, Pete. Did you look that up it, at all? Uh, well, from from all reports, I mean, because a lot of people were kind of confused as to who this Chuck guy was. Yeah, because it could have been, like, it's possible that it is his dad, but I don't think that's the truth. I think Yeah, I think the main ones were, like, he's a relative through either dad, uncle, or... I think the main one people are now going for, which I'm not sure if I agree with, is uh, his brother. They're saying that uh, he might be his, like, older brother, and, like, he's... Like, and because he's got this, like, disease now, he, like, the entire company's going to be, like, you know, flipped on its head. And it's all up to Jimmy McGill, our old hero, <laughs> the, uh, you know, to do something about it. Oh my god, that scene, uh, that's, th there was that one scene where, because we didn't really know who Chuck was, because the way Saul or Jimmy was talking about him, just, it, it was almost like he was this fictitious person, because he was like, oh, 
you know, what are you eating there? You know, save one for Chuck or save that for Chuck. He's like, you know, half of these seats are for Chuck. Like, he, it was like Chuck was like this amazing person that had done all this work, and they weren't, like, respecting that. And that yeah, was just... I, what I was thinking was maybe, like, because Chuck has, like... It, uh, what, what was the thing with his house? He didn't like electricity, wasn't that it? Like, he, uh, Saul had to, like, light a lantern, to, you know, to go in. Because, was, like, there was nothing electrical in the, uh, house. Was that, like that? Yeah, was that to save, like, electricity? Because I know he wasn't getting much money, because there was that one check that... that yeah, they was... swore up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's because he, he think he wanted more money. I think that maybe the company didn't like Chuck because maybe he was pretty good. He had some sort of, like, breakdown or something. And so, like, they've kind of, like, excluded him now, and, like, Saul was trying to, like, fight for him and get his, like, his money's worth until he gets back. Because remember, Chuck kept on saying, I'm going to get better, I'm going to get better. And, you know, and then I'll be back and everything will be good as new. But you got to kind of wonder what did happen that made him, you know, be yeah, in that. Yeah, he deep. probably had some kind of mental breakdown or some mental illness that afflicts him so he can't really do anything. I mean, yeah, he looks like an older guy, so I don't know if age had anything to do with what happened. But it's interesting at the beginning of the episode that Saul's tactics are kind of the same. Like, he still has that kind of inner inner defense. Like, defend someone to the death no matter what their crime was. And what was that case with the three guys that... Oh my god, that was so funny, though, because, like, yeah, they started off, and he's obviously, like, the most inept lawyer ever. Like, he's just... He's just terrible. Obviously, he's going to get a lot better through the series to the point where he was at Breaking Bad. But he was like, it was just funny because everyone's sitting in the court waiting. And, like, obviously, they've been waiting for a long time. And he's just in the bathroom pacing around trying to figure out what to say. Oh, my God. She, was, she, she point out, comes in and, like, you know, tells him to get in the court. I said, when yeah. I was watching, I was like, Jack, that might be Huel. And he's like, no. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it was kind of funny. <laughs> but it was, like, it was so funny how, like, he just played off the whole court case, and obviously we didn't know what they did. And he just played it off as not being that serious at all. And they ended up being, like, they went into a morgue and, like, cut off someone's head and, like, had sex with it or something. Something really serious. And, like, meanwhile, he was telling the jury, oh, this is uh, not yeah, that like, bad. Do you remember what you were doing at 19, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely that. That's what like, I was doing. If I was in the courtroom, I'd get a big amen right now. It's like, oh, yeah. Or in a church. In a church, i get a big amen. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That was just... fucking hilarious. But he's and looking... all the people in the back of the courtroom were shuffling over to the corner to see the video. And, and <laughs> here's something interesting. I'll bring this up from the writer's block days. Do you remember when oh, we oh. had that episode? episode when we were talking about when to use um you know speech and not when to, to use like words like people talking and stuff like that in the episode i thought it was very interesting that it was saul who said almost everything in this episode and or not the episode the the court case with the guys who went to the morgue because the defendant didn't say anything he just got, he up, just and got up and took the tea. Wait, did anyone in that courtroom say anything except Saul? Even the flipping, even, even, even you know, the prosecution, all he did was roll in the flipping TV and just play the video and that was it. He had the only dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Saul had really the only... everyone else just gave, like, really depressive looks. Or... <laughs> yeah, like, really? Like, they were almost like, there's no way. Like, it's pretty obvious these kids were doing something kind of horrific and they need to be punished for it. And... And so all the guy does is he's like, all right, here's the TV, he just plays the video. Like, that's all, like, he didn't say a word, and I was like, oh, okay. So it just kind of set the atmosphere. But it also made it kind of depressive because it was like, you know, nobody even really wanted to say anything to Saul. Like, it's almost like he wasn't even worth the time to yeah. jump into I that. I mean, that's why I was complaining so much about only getting $700, because it was basically a hopeless case, and, like, you know, he's just complaining that he's doing all this shitty work for no money. Yeah. yeah. Adding on to that, the fact that the scene she after that, he's, uh, well, not the scene she after that, but, you know, a few scenes later, he's, uh, he's in the, the diner or, like, the cafe or whatever with the couple, and they, even they won't sign him because they're like, oh, we're not sure if we want a lawyer or right. not. And yeah, so, again, the, woman, the like, woman obviously didn't like him for first sight. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. That was weird how that played out. Um, in the, cause there was that, there was a point where there was a slow motion when the guy's about to sign the paper, and it's almost like slow motion cause you see yeah, Saul. You, you, yeah, you just see Saul's face, like, kind of right in the tight, just a bit, and then you just see the hand, the hand, <laughs> looking in his direction, he just sees the hand go, go, uh, on top of the husband, it's like, no, maybe we should sleep on it, and then Saul's face is just like, oh, no, they're not gonna take me. 
Oh my god. Yeah, you were saying that, Jack, the direction. Oh how... no, that's that's the, I definitely wanted to make a point of that. I am just so glad that the that those two are back from Breaking yeah, Bad because I I absolutely adore their cinematography and directing skills. Like cuz watching Breaking Bad, it feels just like a movie that just keeps on going and like they've translated that back into this series. And I'm just really glad because they're they're just really creative with their shots and angles and it just makes it a lot more interesting to watch on top of the story being written really well so like it's just good yeah I'm glad about that yeah I, I'd agree with all that and um what do you think about the two uh, skater those two punks <laughs> yes that's the other plot point point. <laughs> and do you yeah. think he, you don't think he was talking about himself do you with that the guy in the whatever who you who used to fall and like get eight thousand dollars or whatever or is that someone just he knew oh that story yeah um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. Sh- it might have been him, because, I mean, how else did he, he learn? Like, oh, you're going to learn from the best or something when he was talking to those two guys. Oh, my God. That scared me, though, when he was driving around, and that and all you just see is, like, a flash, and, like, it, like <laughs> he hit someone. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah, because this show's not usually known for jump scares, you know? We watched The Walking Dead for that. So, like, fucking, you know, a jump scare in Better Calls. I was like, oh, jeez, what the fuck? Like, and then it Did was... Fu- so high. It gave me a lot of reminiscence too. You know, if you remember the first time Saul showed up, uh, remember Walt and Jesse tried to blackmail him uh, by like, taking him out into the desert. Yeah, kind of yeah. That the how he, he like Saul turns it around again on them, and he does that, and he does yeah, that. You can't trick the spell. trickster kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's the master of it, and <laughs> these guys think they can outwit him. And it's, and it's funny, he kicks the leg of the biker. He's like, "What are you trying to do?" <laughs> he's like, "Don't you know I'm a lawyer?" <laughs> Oh, by the way, he does have one of the best lines in the whole episode, though, whenever he says, this car would only be worth $500 if, if there was a $300 <laughs> <Yeah>. car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, was, he points at the car, does that car really shout payday to you? <laughs> oh my god, that was that was great. Like, oh, man. like, it's lines like that that just make that character, like, you know, that's made him so good in Breaking Bad, like, those really, like, you know, great lines. There's a, there's a few other ones as well, I'm sure we'll get them. How about the one with, Mike only appeared very briefly, but we did get that's his cameo. Employee was, of the year over here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not. I wasn't really a big fan of how they just kind of shoehorned Mike's appearance in there. Like you only seen him for like thirty seconds, and all he did was just you know say. I mean, maybe. I mean, obviously, I have faith in Vince Gilligan. You know, he's probably gonna spin that around and some. You know, something to do with Mike being some sort of. It was like, a setup. I like, think it was like, a setup, and I think there were in one of the promos that they released. There's a longer scene where. Saul gets out of his car and confronts him, and then Mike kind of like you know twists his arm. And there's a longer scene, so that's in an probably I mean, it's yeah, probably going to be, be like recurring because if if yeah. he has to keep going to that courthouse parking lot, then he's going to be there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they're going to have this kind of like unstable relationship whenever you know he and Saul keeps on driving in and out and seeing Mike every every time he goes to court, you know, and see how that relationship develops from there. Exactly. So I certainly think this episode, they tried to establish where this man is, well, obviously where he is before, because like I said, this series shows us the before, during, and after of Breaking Bad, and so we got a little bit, and I like how it was all black and white, another good, art, yeah, uh, black, interesting, future, basically. yeah, interesting artistic direction that the future is all black and white, and so we get perspective. And um, it shows us, obviously, the roots of this person. And the thing is that he, his roots aren't too different from how he is modern, but that he wants to find an identity. I think it's Chuck that says to him, don't, don't go off of them. Make your own identity, obviously. And I think that's where the, the Saul part is going to come from. And I think, yeah. you know, I we're going to debut in this episode. I thought he was going to start picking up an insult to him, but it seems like it won't be for a while yet. He's going to remain... You know, yeah, well, I mean, it's starting yeah. off with his law office being in the back of, like, a nail salon. Yeah, <laughs> that was just so bad. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, how could it get worse than that? He's, like, back to back with a fucking water boiler. Like, that that thing blows up. It's like, oh, no more Saul. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was Chuck who said, you know, make your own identity and thing. And it seems like, you know, he's very, you know, he doesn't get any respect kind of thing. Like, I like how, even... Even when he wants some pleasure, remember the woman when he takes the cigar out of her mouth and he's like, 
And then he's like, can you just... And then she's like, no. And she just walks away. <laughs> like, they're just leaning against the wall so casually. And I'm just like, oh, poor I Salt. This episode was pretty depressing for Salt. As in, like, everything went wrong for him. Yeah. You know, from the, from the really bleak uh, beginning. And then definitely the end. Like, you know the end is going to be pretty horrific. Like, like, you know whenever Salt was going through that master plan of the two twins? And you, and you just knew something was going to go wrong. Like, either someone was going to, you know, one of the guys is going to do it wrong and get killed or... You know, like, the car is going to just, you know, do something else. But, yeah, I never thought it would turn to, you know, what I eventually did at the end. Yeah. So what do you think we should, uh, should we talk about the end at this point? Because it's probably, like, the biggest, what, you know, moment of the entire episode. Well, sure. Yeah. Which part Which part are you referring to? I'm trying to... Yes, yeah, so I mean, like, starting off from, like, uh, like whenever Saul confronts the two uh, skaters again, and then uh, they, they go through the plan where Saul's going to try and free him. Uh, was it one of the pe- people from the offices he was tr- that he was going to try and, like... I thought it was just an old woman. Wasn't it just an old woman? I, I don't know if she was related to the office or not. I think it might have been that, because he was then going to try and, like, show off, you know, just how right. good a look he really is, you know, because he's going to show up, and, you know, he's going to be, like... Because he says to them, oh, you don't know me, but I'm just going to be driving by, and he's probably going to try and show to her, oh, look how good I am, just right off the cuff, you know. Right. I have no, like, like I don't know any of this is going to happen, and here I am, you're flinging all these details at you. But then, obviously, once you've seen it, you just knew that something was going to go wrong, so, mm-hmm. yeah, the, the car drives by, uh, they do the hit and run. By the way, can I just say, Dave Porter, again, top-notch for the music for this episode. Like, from the beginning track that was so reminiscent of flipping Fallout 3, like, I was having mad Fallout vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Right up until I, I love the music that they played during the whole ordeal, like whenever the hit and run began, and they were like following her, like the music that they played in the background. Like I don't, like I remember that was like. Did that happen? What part was that? What? Uh, it, it was like it was a whole part, like from whenever they did the, the they staged the accident, the car drove on and they followed the car right up to the house. You remember that? Yeah. That segment. Yeah, they were playing like the same track for the entire thing, and it was like. Is that where he tells the guys to remember what kind of car she has? Yeah. It was, it was like, just after that, like, whenever they actually do the whole thing, you know, right up until the, uh, you know, they get there. Okay, well, that's weird. Our TV cut off, the last scene of that episode for us was when Saul says, you don't know my name, right? Like, they go through the whole plan of what they're going to do, but they don't actually do it. Yeah, because what happens is, is the car drives by. Oh, we don't yeah, know this. We, what? We don't know this. What? How do you not know this? This was literally... because it wasn't aired. Was it not aired? Why did? Is this the is part of the next episode? Maybe, or is this it? Does it do it no. differently? No, this is the same. No, okay, hold on. This is oh, hold on. This is weird. Okay, no, literally, what happens is Saul so goes through the whole plan, and you remember that, yeah. yeah. You, you know, remember the the number plate. Exactly. What, what's the rest of it? Blah, 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 okay? Okay. And, uh, and then they, they're they waiting. Like, they're doing the same thing where the, the guy videotapes the car, and then his twin jumps on the car, you know, and fakes a broken leg. Yeah. Okay, they did that stuff. And then they came over to the car, and they're like, what are you doing, man? You know, get out of here. But instead of, you know, what Saul did, you know, Saul came sh- straight out of the car and, like, tried to help them out the first time. This car is just like, nope, and it drives straight on. And they're like, hey, wait, and then obviously the guy with the broken leg just gets straight up, and they're both following her. And they follow the car right up to, to the house. And that entire time, Saul was sitting there, you know, where's the call? They're supposed to call me whenever, you know, the, she gets out. this happen? We didn't want... You didn't know what? I think I know why. Because Talking Dead had to air after at 11. And if you n- realize, they cut in past midnight. So I think they cut off the I episode. Don't know. Why so what? Did, do that though? I don't know. That's the, that's. I didn't even realize we missed that. Wow. So all right. Well, should, should Wait. So you don't know Netflix. what happens at the very end. What? Which... Oh, I, I don't think I want to say. I don't think I want to. This is. Oh my gosh. So we're. So this is the the better call Saul episode one review of the three court the first three quarters of the episode. <laughs> I'm not gonna review. Well, the final you know quarter. what? I think this. You know, I feel like this is an issue that happened to everyone. To everyone in the U.S. I don't think so. Was t- like, because I was checking. It. Well, I mean, I thought I would have known because, like, I was once again I was looking up some stuff for the episode, and I would have seen them being like, "Why did no one see this? You know, why why couldn't we see this part?" But yeah, Netflix just showed the whole episode, and from what I've been seeing, everyone's seen it. What happened to the end? We got, we got fucking robbed of that. I don't oh my know. gosh, I can't believe you. 
Oh my! I, I, okay, I'm not gonna spoil the end for you, but holy crap! Well, God uh, damn it! <laughs> I don't know. But, um, by the way, you missed like that's like ten minutes as well. Because they get to the house. I'm so glad I didn't. Because I was I was just about to say it as well. You know what happens? But yeah, like they get to the car, and then you know a load of other stuff happens. Saul gets there, and then something else happens, and then that's the end. Oh my gosh! I can't believe that. <laughs> Wait a minute! They have him come back. Oh what? my god. They have him come back? Oh, I didn't think he that. wanted to do this anymore. Tu yeah. Tuco. Yeah, Tuco was at the very end, yeah. What? They, Tuco. Tuco, no, because the, the, the actor who played Tuco said he wouldn't go what? back. Oh back. my god, why are we missing so much? We'll just, we'll, it's, it's alright. We'll, what, yeah, so what happens, alright, so I might as well say, what happens is, uh, I'm reading a synopsis here, that's why. Yeah, yeah they, they get to the car, and some older Hispanic lady gets out of the car, which obviously isn't the, so they got the wrong car, basically. And then the two twins are like, hey, you know, what's going on? And then the the and the mother invites them in so they can deal with this. Saul then walks towards the house and he like, because they haven't like told him anything. So he bangs on the door and he's like, hey, you know, I'm a, I'm a lawyer of the law, you know, open up. And then the door opens and just a gun is pointing at him. And then he just drags the Saul in by the collar. And then the guy just peeks his head out in the door and it's Tuco. And then the, the, the episode ends. Okay. It ends. That is annoying because I can't believe you. I can't believe do you me. think we left early no i left it on and then the and then yeah the no because i was going to say we went to re review the walking dead do you think no i left it on and then the talking dead came on i i i, I kept the tv on that's horseshit what the fuck man so we didn't even well, obviously i'm gonna look on netflix to try and watch it but better yeah. call i i don't yeah. So that was what my tweet to you was about earlier, and I said, if I can summarize the episode, it'd be tight, 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 tight. That's why you said that. I didn't, yeah. even, I didn't even fucking know you said that. God. You know, oh, that that's the thing. That I, I th you know what? This And this would only happen on a Sunday, because it, it's, it's, it's this is not the, a night it's supposed to be aired. It's Monday. So, all right. Well, hopefully... We are having an encore um, episode again. So tonight at nine, before the second episode, they're oh really? Hearing it well, again. okay, all right. Well, anyway, I don't, without <laughs> letting this go too long, I guess if anyone's watching yeah, I, this, can we summarize this. Night? Yeah, in the in the in the comments of this video, can, if if anyone's on the East Coast, like in the United States, and you watch Better Call Saul, can you confirm that the Talking Dead cut off this end of the episode? I because we got that. robbed. We thought that. The, it, the the episode ended when they were about to do the plan. Saul's like, all right, let's do this. And then the episode ends. It's like, all right, I guess next episode they're going to do their plan. Was it credits and all, or did it just cut to black, or what? There were no credits. It just went to commercial and then Talking Dead. That was what happened. Unless it came back for some reason, like, after the Talking Dead first came up, because I turned off the, I don't know. That's fucking stupid. Wait, it's, it's another thing that they do whenever they say, oh, Talking Dead is coming on after this, so, you know, stick no, around. It wasn't, it wasn't oh. that, I don't think, I don't because it was it was past the airtime. It was already yeah. That's a bit fucked. But so um. I can't believe that. For this I, first, I was, like, I was doing this whole episode thinking that you knew what happened at the end. Like, <laughs> oh, so get ready for the end. Thank you, AMC. You know, it just so they they shove so much shit into a three hour time slot, and I knew it. They were packing Walking Dead, Better Call Saul, Walking Dead, and I knew something was gonna get fucking shit. God damn it. All right. Well, whatever. Um, this won't be happening in the future, obviously, because it's on Mondays. What do you Mondays. think about that then? Like in an episode standpoint, what do you think about Tuco coming back? Um, I like I said, I'm surprised because I don't know if you know the actor who played him said he didn't want he he the actor who plays Tuco is actually a really really nice guy. He's not like his Tuco at all. So sure. he felt he felt uncomfortable playing Tuco in Breaking Bad, and that's why the, I, that's one of the reasons they killed him off so quickly. I mean, other than the plot stuff, but yeah. that's one of the reasons they killed him off. And so I'm actually really surprised they have him back. That's interesting. Okay, well... I'm pretty sure he's going to be just as much of a maniac as he was in Breaking Bad. Like, you know, if he greets someone by pointing a gun at them, you know, you know it's going to be pretty uh, rough for them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So but Yeah, that was, like a, that was like the big reveal of the that previous episode. So now basically what we're thinking is, what's going to happen to Saul and the twins? Are the twins going to survive this ordeal? I, I'm not too sure. I mean, knowing yeah. Tuco, I don't think they're going to survive. Or yeah. he's going to probably get them for money. Like, you know, he always does stuff for money. So, yeah. yeah. So you just you know that neither of them are going to die, though, like Saul and Tuco, because obviously they're, they're in Breaking Bad. 
So, but you know that something pretty rough is probably going to come from this as a result. Will Will the cousins make a return? You never know. <laughs> Maybe. Oh God, no! Aren't they in? in they're down south. In the oh, country yeah. of Mexico, aren't oh my they? God, those two thugs. Don't they live in Mexico? There's no way they'd come back. I, I mean, we've never seen Tuga with his cousins. Sure, we haven't. No, no, but I mean, I think they live in Mexico because in Breaking Cause Bad, he says, yeah. "Yeah, he said they live in Mexico." You know. Oh, okay. What about what about Hector then as well? Do you think? Oh, they... um, Tio, the uncle. Um, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we might see Gus. Maybe Gus will come back. Who knows? Yeah, but, I mean, we well, have the uh, ringing bell, the infinite bell. Yeah, ding, like, I think, ding, ding, ding. that's the episode two, yeah, and you just hear, like, the bell in the corner. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Like, Not the, the bell. <laughs> and then he's, like, and then he rings it. Oh, shit, myself. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> no, like, yeah, like, just every episode of Bear Call Saul ends with, like, the reveal of a Breaking Bad character. So, like, oh episode God, well, I'm angry because we didn't have... Fuck it. I'm not going to reminisce on that. All right. I'm going to give my review for the episode now. Um, so Three quarters of the episode. All right, <laughs> not well. I mean, yeah. The ending is nice. That, that that's a nice addition. So I'll I'll give it a nine out of ten. Je, what? I'll give it a nine out of ten, and I'm just gonna say that I'm really excited for this series because I feel like they gave just enough stuff coming back from Breaking Bad and just enough new stuff to make it interesting. Like, so obviously anyone that's watched Breaking Bad is gonna be chomping at the bit to get more content from these two writers and directors, and I'm just really looking forward to the future. Can we do decimals? Yeah, sure. What's your review uh, score? I'll, hit a, I'll give it an 8.5. I'll say, yeah, it was a really solid start to, you know, this whole new universe. My only fear, well, the only criticism I would have, and I have fear as well, the only criticism I have is they didn't really establish that many really strong characters that aren't, that aren't just from Street and Breaking Bad, because obviously people like Tuku and Mike, they're fully established now because of Breaking Bad. But like the only character that we've really that we think is going to be play a part in this series so far, independent, is uh, Chuck. Like right. everyone else has just kind of been there and like done their purpose, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So I would have liked it if we maybe had like two or three other characters that we could at least establish. Okay, these this is going to be the the better call Saul cast. And I I, I just I hopefully this is a fear that I have. I fear, that, but I have confidence that they're not going to do this. I do fear though that they might stream a bit too much off Breaking Bad. As in, like, they're going to bring back too much stuff from Breaking Bad and make it almost more as if, like, it's a fusion of the shows and it's not its own thing they can stand up by itself. Like, obviously, it was really cool seeing Tuku and all, but I just hope that it doesn't become a recurring thing where, like, oh, here comes another Breaking Bad character, oh, here comes another one. No, I think Vince Gilligan's smart enough to put them yeah, where they I need to I think once be. the whole Tuku angle's done, I think... But like, I think for oh, your pilot good. episodes... I feel like that's, like, a nice way to get the audience, like, anyone who's watched Breaking Bad, like, you know, stick around yeah, for more. Be I'm fine. Yeah, so. Alright, guys. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um, we'll, we'll see if this works tomorrow because there is another episode on tonight because it's a two part yeah. thing. And uh, Jack and I will, even right now, if we can find a version online, we'll wa watch the fucking part we missed, which. Yeah, just watch the final 10 minutes. Yeah, which I'm kind of still pissed about. So thanks, Talking Dead, for that bullshit. I, so, I anyway. <laughs> so, Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.